What is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube channel. So today is Friday, May 10th, and so tomorrow was supposed to be my first show, Regionals in St. Augustine. But we ended up pushing it back. My body wasn't ready. It wasn't going the way we wanted to, so we pushed it back. So right now we are sitting at right around four weeks out from June 8th, but today we are training some chest and some shoulders. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and we'll talk a little bit afterwards of what's going on with the game plan and everything like that. But let's get our butts to the gym, let's train hard and let's get going. Love 
guys. So, didn't do an outro video yesterday. Ended up waking up today at 6.30 in the morning. Stomach pain, um, a definitely empty stomach. I was up and down all night with going to the bathroom. Probably got up like six, seven times, but I ended up doing check-ins today. Ended up dropping three pounds. A lot of it was probably water weight, but we dropped three pounds. We went from 186.9 to 183.9. So down three pounds, which is wow. Definitely was shocked to see that on the scale today. Definitely feeling really good. I feel like I'm very conditioned. My uh, metabolism is so fast now. I'm digesting food so fast. I'm hungry every second of the day now. Um, training's been really intense. We've implemented now after the after our working out. We do the we do rows now. So with rows, we do five minute cycles. Twenty second blast, forty second chill. Twenty second blast, forty second chill. We do that for five minutes. That's been really kicking my butt, but definitely feeling it now. Um, it's amazing to see how hard you push every single week and you still see results. Like I'm shocked to see that I dropped three pounds. Like I couldn't believe it, but it's a good thing because obviously that's the direction Kyle wants to go with me and um, we're going really good with it. So like I said, four weeks out from today is the show. So we are sitting at a good weight, definitely very conditioned. As you can see from the check-in videos right now, now and every single week me myself is seeing such a transformation in the physique I've lost over 30 33 pounds which is crazy in 20 weeks and um, I just it's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to things it's amazing what you do when you basically do the same thing every day consistency working out cardio, eating right, getting rest, having no stress, proper water intake, everything like that, making sure your posing routine is on point, making sure that you're doing the workouts properly, time under tension, really stretching the muscle out, really getting that contraction. Everything comes into play. It's not just one thing. It's not just, hey, I can take X amount of supplements, I can take X amount of food, I can blah, blah, blah. Everything has to come into play. It's not just one thing. It's tens, 20 things that you need to do, taking the proper vitamins, making sure you're getting that proper water intake, making sure you're training at appropriate times, making sure that you are focused in your trainings. If you're just going to the gym and you're just not having that intensity level at a 10, it's pointless. So it's definitely been a journey this past 20 weeks, but hey, Four more weeks out from national uh, regionals, six more weeks out from nationals. So let's win that regional show, then get qualified for nationals. Let's get there, let's compete with the best of the best, and let's get that pro card. So it's Saturday morning, around eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm editing my YouTube video for this coming week. And I just wanna show you guys what I do to help motivate myself while I'm doing this throughout my day. So, as you can see, I'm editing my video. I have Chris Williamson, a great, great motivational speaker on the video, talking and putting the thoughts in my head as I'm 
editing this video. And then on the right of me, I have the book I've been reading, 10X by Grant Cardone. Now these two people are extremely motivational to me. They really touch my heart and they really push me even more every single day. And what I do, it's funny, like when I work out in the gym, I'm not listening to workout music. I'm not listening to pop, rock, rap. Occasionally I do, but for the past, I want to say eight years, no joke, I listen to motivational speakers throughout my whole workout. That is two and a half hours of people talking to me in my head and telling me things that push me more. And it might sound crazy and yeah, it's not music, it's not blasting my ear, but it's motivating me each lift. And even when I'm in the car ride, I'll listen sometimes to podcasts, I'll listen to same thing, YouTube videos of people talking, because all that's doing is pushing me more every single day. And it's important to push yourself because if you don't push yourself, nobody's gonna push yourself. And it's funny, I didn't wanna push myself a couple days ago, like I wanted to go to bed. It was 11 o'clock at night. And I was talking to Brooke, my wife, and um, I was telling her about ideas for my YouTube channel. And I told her one idea and I, I was like, I, I really want to go out right now and do it. And then in my thoughts, I was like, it's 11 o'clock at night. I really want to just read for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I want to crash and go to bed because I was up early. But then my wife goes, babe, what are you doing? I go, what do you mean? You go, an hour ago, you were just telling me how you want to go film some content for your YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, you're right, I do. But then I'm like, but I'm also tired, I wanna get some sleep, and I wanna read a little bit. She was like, but you literally just told me you were gonna do this. Go do it, come back, and read. So I ended up going out, filming some content, coming home, and I was even more motivated after filming that video that I ended up meal prepping. <laughs> and as I meal prepped, the food took a little bit to cook, obviously. I ended up reading my book on the couch, going to bed, waking up at a reasonable time. But it's, it's great because, you know, I'm lucky being married that um, my wife pushes me and motivates me every single day. And I tell her every single day that, hey, one day I'm gonna retire you. I'm gonna let you stay home. We're gonna raise our children together. You don't have to work. And I tell her this every day and I have a certain goal that I set for me for her to retire. And it may sound crazy, but I don't really care because I know I can reach that goal as long as I push myself. And having that companion, my wife, to help motivate me and push me sometimes when I sometimes lack it here and there is a great, great feeling. Because, you know, obviously being motivated all the time is impossible. You're obviously gonna sometimes lose motivation. Sometimes you're like, ah, I'm tired, I'm on the couch. But if you get up and you keep pushing every single day and 10X your life in anything you do, from work to fitness, to dieting, to your relationship, to anything, you can achieve anything. And I figured I'd just throw this in at the end of this video because I'm sitting here in the morning. I've been up since 6.30 in the morning. I've been content. I have been meal, um, ch check ins with Kyle. I already read. I already cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and put all the stuff away that I wanted to do. Like, I got my day started early at 6.30 in the morning because I can't sleep anymore. I got to bed last night at 11 o'clock. I slept till 6.30. So what is that? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a half, 7 and a half hours of sleep. And that's all I need. On Saturdays, I usually work. So I always wake up in the morning this time if I'm off on a Saturday like today. So I believe in production is important. And as long as you get the proper sleep, you can wake up and get going. People are still sleeping right now. And I'm here, I've done so much already, and I'm planning on going to the gym, I'm planning on going to the grocery store today, I'm planning on getting more content, I'm planning on trying to be the best person for me and for my wife. And that's the most important thing is pushing yourself. And I know this sounds stupid, but it's important because nobody out there is gonna push you as hard as you. And yeah, you may get hit, and you may get knocked down. I've gotten knocked down many times but it's the character inside of you that gets yourself up and keeps moving forward. Yes, it is a rocky crow. 
And the Rocky quote is the most important quote I've ever heard because it's so true. You get knocked down, but you get back up. It doesn't matter if you don't even have a pot to piss in. It doesn't matter if you have no money. It doesn't even matter if you have no direction. You get hit, get up. Life is better on the other side as long as you land on your back. Eric Thomas, if you land on your back, you can get back up. So keep moving forward, keep pushing. I know this is a little bit of a rant, but I don't care because I want you to realize that there is something in you that you don't realize yet. Keep pushing. I was just reading chapter seven with Grant Cardone and there's four degrees that he's talked about. There's the people who aren't committed to the action. There's people that are, why this happened to me and blaming everything else. There's the ones who wanna be average and there's the ones who do the massive, massive details and pushing themselves every day. So just like in college, there's four degrees. There's four degrees in 10Xing and you wanna put in every single effort as much as you can to push yourself. You want people to think you're crazy. People think I bodybuild and it's crazy that I bodybuild and I stay on track and I stay on my diet and how there's junk food in front of me and it doesn't bother me. Well, guess what? I'm the person who wants to go out there every single day and commit to myself. Commit to yourself and you can do anything. Anything is possible. I don't wanna hear, oh, it wasn't my time, bullshit. You can do anything you want as long as you push yourself. So I will see you in the next YouTube video and I hope you guys keep pushing yourself every friggin' day. Like, comment, and subscribe and I love you all.